Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and welcome back to yet another episode on our uh, multiplayer server, McFriends. I don't know, we're calling it McFriends. I don't know what to call it. We've been calling ourselves McFriends for quite a while, um, even on the public server. Um, which is uh, taking a break right now, but we still got um, these guys and uh, going on this private server, and it's kind of fun seeing this town come together. Um, got uh, especially with my house being done or pretty close to being done. So now the next thing is I want to continue back with getting this pumpkin pie farm finished. I got the pumpkin thing going, and that's been going really well. I think we got a full double chest now with that but the next bit is i need to create room um because we built this temporary holding area for all of these sheeps and the uh the cows and the, the chickens so what i want to do is i want to move the animals to a better place so they're not just taking up space out in the open and make it look more like a town um, and then probably once they're moved out of here we'll probably put the reed farm in here and then we'll have a chicken collecting egg thing underneath um, it'll be hidden and we'll hook up the reed farm to fire whenever th these fire which will be really nice hey let's let's go check on the pumpkin I just I'm just curious I don't think it's a double chest but oh it looks like some people some people have been using it. I did, last time I was in here, it was about half full. So, looks like people have been using it, which is good. That's what it's intended for. Um, and so, I was looking at this mountain, and I was going to hollow out and make my base in here. But then I remembered, we're not really building our bases around here. It's going to be public structures and cool-looking houses only. Um, and so, I was like, you know what? I could make a barn in here. I'm, I'll move the animals in here, and then um, I can also make move the farms in here make automatic farms and then maybe pipe it out underneath um at least well semi-auto so like the um you know the wheat and the nether wards and all that stuff because those can be you know they can be harvested by water so i got a fun little design if you've watched my uh series on how to play minecraft i used it in there um so what i want to do is i'm going to make the entrance the entrance is going to be i'm thinking this big i need more spruce i ran out of spruce so i'll go get some of that and then i got kind of a cavey idea on the inside uh the big thing is silk touch i need a silk touch pick or shovel so i can get uh the dirt in there for the sheep and then i already harvested a bunch of soul sand because i think the soul sand looks pretty cool in like a, a barn like setting um, yeah, so we'll be back and, uh, I'll update you with the progress as it goes. Welcome back. Kaz here. You know, it's Kaz. You're watching my video. But anyway, uh, I am back. Here's an update. It's been a little bit of time. Sorry about uh, not being able to get something out. Uh, last week I, yeah, just craziness. Had some server issues, just lots of busyness, but Anyway, here we are back. A couple updates on the server. We got uh, a couple new users. We got Nicola Jettison. I don't think, I think he's working on getting some recording. And then we got uh, Zimberfits, otherwise known as Timbuk2, who is starting to record. So check out his channel. I'll put, uh, I'll update the Reddit page, all that business. Uh, the other thing is, I was going to record some filler and I recorded playing with a buddy of mine, helping him with. Uh, his base and getting another portal linked up and help find uh, some some horses I don't know if I'll put that out it's not all that interesting but one thing that uh, was a benefit is I found a donkey so here's my donkey I'm gonna name him ace oh I already named him oh shoot I just wasted a, uh, a name tag actually can I change the name tag huh Anyway, so I named my donkey Ace. I'll let you guys figure that one out. But, um, oh, you can change it. Good. Okay, I'll just put that back. We don't need it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use him. I just figured it would be good to have a donkey. And um, I think, I can't remember off the top of my head if you, yeah, you breed the donkey and the horse and then you get a mule. So I might do that. Eventually, I'll breed Ace with Pony, and then we'll let it go. Um, I had my 
I had Pony tied up here and somebody took my lead, which kind of sucks. But anyway, this is what I was working on for this episode is this little barn area. And man, I have my, yeah, that's why. All right. Love it. How my video, my settings get reset all the time. Um, and what was I in the middle of last time I was here? Okay. I didn't, I was finishing this up, but, um, so I kind of, I took a, a design that my buddy, yeah, right. That a friend of mine has, Hmm. I seem to have messed this up, but that is fine. I will just, yeah, <laughs> getting distracted here. Uh, ooh, geez. <laughs> Look what you made me do. This is why we can't have nice things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this. I don't have any. <laughs> I'll fix it later. So here's, here's these uh, semi-automatic farms. And basically, I, I I usually what usually do if you saw my how to play Minecraft series, I made this in there, and you link it all up to one button, um, and then it all filters it out. But I was like, you know, we have four different. We got wheat, carrots, potatoes, and then the nether um, nether wart. That's that's the word I was looking for. So I linked it up with the color coat. I'll uh, I'll put some signs of it when I finish it. I'm gonna I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right here. This will be a wall of some sorts, I think. And uh, I I wanted to test this out to see if the wooden will this be enough to. No. One thing I do need to do I need to put a repeater on those so that they stay it stays open longer. Because that doesn't stay open long enough at all. Um, I basically want it so you don't have to run in here except to plant stuff. So I'll, I'll fix that here before the end of the episode. And then the other thing I, I haven't decided yet is this corner. What do I want to do in this corner? Do I want... I was thinking of some sort of like pillar of some kind. But I'm not sure yet what I want to do. Anyway, I'll have it done before the end of the episode. And uh, but yeah, this is this is the way it looks a little bit. Got uh, color coded sheep's. I need to find at least one more white so that we can start filling these up. And um, I'm probably gonna have to change this because these babies actually go can go in between these. But if you have like a ton of animals, this is a great way to get through without having to like put gates in or jump over and stuff like that. But yeah, this is uh, this is what it looks like. I thought it kind of turned out pretty cool, and hopefully you guys like it. Um, I'll uh, get back to you once I completely finish it up. So we'll be right back. Welcome back. Seems like a long time ago that I talked to you, but to you it was just a few few seconds. Um, whoa. <laughs> what the heck? Looks like somebody uh, somebody made a melon farm. Ah, so I'm totally getting off track. Sorry. I was just going to show you guys my my finished thing, but I kind of want to see what's going on here. Looks like we got totally full up on the melons and stuff. I might uh, hop in there and redirect that. Um, I'll have to go check that out. But... That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna guess that that was Darkhawks, uh, probably doing that, because I asked him if he could move that. See, look at this. This is why I did this. This is why I moved the animals and the farms inside because I thought this looked like crap when it's just a bunch of farms sitting out here. So um, the next thing that needs to move is this. I'll put a sign out for Dark. Dark is in Australia. If you haven't ever heard him. Um, go check his channel out. He um, So he records on almost opposite times. There's one day a week that we can record together, um, and we usually do other things. But anyway, back to why you guys are watching this video is here is the completed um, animal farm slash semi-automatic everything else farm. So 
Uh, just a few things to talk about in here. I originally like this idea of this to get in and out, but you know what? If you're breeding animals like that, they can just, they can get out. Oh, no. Uh, they still got some, they still got some food. And uh, the problem is with the ba the babies can get out of these, which kind of sucks. So if you have like enough animals, you don't need to breed. You can use this to get in and out. Like if you just have a bunch of different colors of sheep and you just need the, the wool, that's cool. So I did that for these guys. I, I uh, boxed them in like that. This is a, another fun little thing you could do to get in and out of pens is just do this. And you could just jump up and over. Um, that's just a little bit of that. Now, it's kind of funny because the vision I had for this this cavern was to make it a lot bigger and taller. But, you know, space, space and time. Space and time hindered that. So... But I did like how these turned out. I kind of wanted them like hanging down like this because I saw that on, um, I think it's Minecraft on their server, they have this. You could do this by powering this block directly with a switch. Just put it on the underside of the block. Then this block will be powered and then it'll power the redstone, which is kind of a cool way you can have redstone lamps like that. These don't need to be hidden because it's just a, yeah. So, uh, this design for the farm is actually from a buddy of mine, M. Carver. He doesn't play the MCs anymore, but uh, you could go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description. And I originally wanted to have this all sort all these out and then route all the way back to the, to the main, um, main storage. But, you know, it's like you need to replant after you sort it, and you, you don't want to have to run all the way back there to replant. So, it just goes here. This should be good enough. It's not like a, a, you know, it doesn't, we're not going to get a ton of crap from this farm. But um, the other thing that I struggled with was this wall. I decided to go with an aquarium looking thing. I don't know. I might change it later. I did like the color coded blocks depending on uh, which one you want to harvest. And I couldn't, I mean, I probably could have if I put enough repeaters in there. I could have extended the button presses out long enough to uh to flush ev all of the uh materials down into here but i just figured it's easier just make a switch let's see what c which one can we which one can we harvest here we could probably harvest the nether wart let's do that and you know what we could harvest even the the carrots and the potatoes so let's just let's just do the nether wart flip that and then you could see that the the pistons open and it's flushing all of the nether wart down oh I just I just saw a design flaw. Uh, that shouldn't be a bit that big a deal. Maybe I'll put. Um, maybe we'll do this. There we go. Problem solved. So I don't know why the Nether War doesn't get all the way in there, but okay. <laughs> That's kind of frustrating. I thought I designed these enough where they would flow over. So now that we got that, now we got to re replant them. So we just run over here. Now, the way that my buddy designed this is so you don't ever have to actually walk on this stuff, which you can. And uh, he put, if you put, uh, like, let's see, do I have any half slabs on me? If you put half slabs, like, here, straight across, or you know the top straight across you won't fall in and you can still access these this area to to farm it so there we go that is the cavern um i'm gonna fill it out with some more colored uh wool i got some one two three i was thinking of getting some black sheep in here and then uh i don't know green and blue maybe or something we still got one over here so i could move the piggies over to this one and uh we need more more cows somebody killed all but two of the cows and then didn't uh, repopulate so the other thing that i i ran into is you know i never put doors on my buildings i don't know why i do not do that so i did this just so that you can't get creeped on when you're when you're up in there so now i need to put all of this stuff back and away and then i'm not sure what i'm going to do for the next video yet uh and i'm not even sure if i'm going to be able to do uh keep up with the videos once a week I was thinking of either going to the nether fortress and setting that up so that we can try to get some wither skulls and get a beacon 
uh, or so I could fight a wither and then I could get a beacon, which would be really cool, especially for town center here. Um, especially since they are going to be finishing up the iron foundry pretty soon, and then we'll be able to use beacons a lot. But, um, yeah, I think that's all. If you like this or if you found this uh, interesting at all, feel free to uh, put a like below and uh, comment on it. Let me know if you have any improvement suggestions. I uh, I don't know if I should have made the ceiling darker. I like the red around this outside and then kind of like this idea. I don't know. It turned out all right. But, hey, if you, if you uh, have some thoughts on what I could do in my survival multiplayer series, feel free to let me know. And, um, yeah, so this is Cos from Mick Friends, and as always, enjoy the game.